Hi guys, uh, welcome again to the channel and welcome in CAVE where, uh, as promised in the previous video, we'll have a look at the Heritage Customs and Niels Verhoy Design Studio now with behind me very generous of the client's Silver Spectre shooting break on display. So please come with me and let's have a look at um, what we have in store here for you. Let's start uh, over here on our uh, bespoke wall. We've got a, a selection of uh, Heritage Customs Magic Metal options here. Well, what is Magic Metal? Magic Metal is real metal, particles of real metal with a binder basically that we can paint on virtually any car surface, exterior and interior. To demonstrate that, our samples are actually painted on wood. So the flexibility of the wood is taken forward into the metal, so no cracks, no uh, damage of any sort, despite the fact that wood obviously is a flexible material and it will expand or contract with different humidity, etc. A whole range of different metals uh, are possible. Uh, clients are even invited for our so-called car architecture program where people are able to truly co-design with us their own Land Rover Defender. Uh, they are invited to design their own metal. Uh, so we can mix different metals uh, from uh, a copper uh, mixed with perhaps a tin or a, a black steel um, to truly create one's own metal uh, which can then be adapted even by uh, brushing it, by uh, polishing it, um, by treating it in any way, shape or form wished for by the client. Uh, and we can even do that with patina. So this is copper, much like the center stack here is copper too. Uh, so this is the center stack of a new Land Rover Defender. Um, this is copper patina, just like the patina you see over here, for instance, on uh, the Statue of Liberty in New York that used to be that color and is now entirely green because of rain and weather. Um, and that really makes for a rather interesting aesthetic on the exterior or interior components of the new Land Rover Defender. So we've got a sign vent here. As you see, uh, it was uh, rather keen to be in the picture, so uh, I'll uh, give it its five minutes of fame. Uh, OEM piece that we paint with, in this case, metal, which was then uh, rusted, chemically rusted, um, and then fixated. So there's no orange that will uh, remain on your hand or on your car in case of rain. Uh, so some customers like to have the material fixated, others like to have the material work basically. So every time you wash the car or you park it in the, in the sun or in the rain uh, and you come back, the car actually looks slightly different. So rather interesting um, uh, way of making your car something truly unique and personal. We've got a steering wheel unit over there, uh, which basically would sit right over there. I'm not sure if you can see that with the glare uh, on the glossy picture, but anyway, uh, we've, gone, we've done a selection of different applications, for instance, on the, the dashboard over there, on the door panels, on the lower center stack, the steering wheel, like I said, the grab handles on the side, um, and in some cases, uh, even the small little torques that are uh, all over the interior, I think 100 in total on the door cards, on the center stack, uh, on the rear door uh, that we can, for instance, uh, make in uh, bronze or in copper. Um, we had quite a few clients do that actually, which looks very, very nice. So for our Heritage Customs, like I said, we offer the Magic Metal range. Uh, we also do full interior conversions. Uh, so we have a range of bespoke um, in-house designed patterns for uh, Heritage Customs in leather. And um, we do, of course, our own range of forged wheels, of which uh, only two are uh, hanging here, actually. We've got a whole range of 20-inch uh, and 22-inch wheels for Heritage Customs available. Uh, new designs coming out all the time. And, um, you know, really strong stuff. We've got uh, clients that actually drive them very hard. Uh, we had a, a trip to Spain with a couple of clients uh, recently uh, off-road, and uh, they performed very well, strong and lightweight. Anyway. 
over here, a selection of uh, uh, letters and uh, wrap collars. Uh, we also do in-house uh, wrapping for, for the Land Rovers, especially for those clients seeking for, uh, let's say, more outspoken collars. Uh, then uh, a wrap is a great idea because uh, you can take it off in case of, uh, um, uh, if you want to sell the car. Um, over here, this is truly the Niels van Roy design corner uh, with, uh, with books about interesting cars. For instance, uh, the Brad van, uh, the car you see uh, over there on the window. You see some sketches coming by on the computer now, actually, on the screen. This is uh, how the projects uh, usually start. So a coach building project starts with research, starts with, uh, with books, with um, people that have information about a specific car in case of a homage car, of course, but also in case of a car, for instance, like Adventum Coupe that we discussed in the previous video, uh, that is inspired, so to speak, by the classic Range Rover in that case. So uh, research is, uh, is truly key to what we do at uh, Niels van Roy Design and the starting point for the sketches, for the renderings, and then eventually for, for instance, a clay model or, uh, in the end, the finished article. And, um, well, talking about the finished article, there's one standing over here. Uh, this is Silver Spectre Shooting Brake, a uh, Rolls-Royce Wraith-based one-off. And uh, basically, this is where it started. So everything from the A-pillar towards the front is OEM, and everything from here going backwards is handmade, in this case, not in aluminium, but in carbon fiber. Uh, we've got a, a truly extended Starlight Headliner inside, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, I think the largest Rolls-Royce Starlight Headliner in the world, because normally the OEM Starlight Headliner sort of stops over there. And we've got, of course, a three foot, one meter of extra Starlight Headliner. So we call it the Infinity Celestial Scape. Truly infinity, because there is a fade out towards the back, and if you would sit there in the driver's seat or the passenger seat in front and you look in your rear view mirror you see a true fade out towards the back towards this small typically english coach built rear window uh, pushed in with a little sort of five millimeter facet running around a hint again coming from research what did the English people do back in the 50s and the 60s with their coach-built cars? The windows were basically placed in from interior towards the outside, rather than modern cars that are glued in from the outside. So these are all little hints, little uh, pieces of history, pieces of heritage that we interpreted in a more modern way, of course, because this is a new car, a uh, modern Rolls-Royce, but then with strong links to heritage and history. The same goes for this little step here, this little boot. Very soft and curvaceous with the license plate very low into the bodywork. Meaning, again, a link to, for instance, Clouds and Phantom of the 50s and the 60s and the 70s, which had these very rich surfaces around the boot area. Very soft, very generous. And um, the same goes for the roof line, which is softly sweeping backwards and getting more and more rich, more and more rounded towards the rear end here. So we truly took space for creativity in this car. It is not, let's say, an old Volvo estate with a straight rear end where, you know, you can put uh, the Billy from Ikea in the back. Now this is a car made to drive to Monaco with two weekend bags in the boot, talking about which uh, we truly put some effort in the boot area too because it features the exact same materials, the exact same patterns, the same quality of material, but also of shape. So there's not one straight line in this boot area. It's all double curved, curved like that and curved in its length. Like I said, um, not one straight line in here. There's an opening over there showing, of course, the interior. And from the interior side, looking backwards, you can see the beautiful boot. There is light coming from both directions now and uh, to accomplish that the cross brace that was in the back for the original car that is was removed. Uh, we put a new bar over there that of course does two things actually. It has a function of stiffness but it also has the function for aesthetics of that continually flowing line coming from left to right. 
and from top to bottom. So, just one of the features of Silver Spectre shooting brake, and I did promise you to have a look at the interior and the large starlight headliner. So if the cameraman walks around and opens the door over there, I'll open this door over here. So if you come down and have a good look at the, uh, the headliner here, there it is, extending all the way towards the back, behind the headrest, and with this fade out that I just discussed. Truly a special feeling if you drive this car, where it is at night or in the afternoon like this, the lights are bright enough for that, and it has a true sense of occasion. So, thank you for tuning in for this uh, quick tour of our studio here at uh, Niels Verhoy Design at Cave in Uden. And I'll see you for the next video. Please don't forget to subscribe, to like, and to let us know in the comments what it is you would like to see in the next video. Cheers!